Good evening, everybody. Um, this is the evening that uh, WhatsApp and Facebook and Instagram have collapsed. Not been for a ride today, apart from riding back from dropping the car off, uh, which was 15 minutes. Incredible duration for a bike ride. Um, but I rode, so I went this morning to visit Emir at a bike workshop. And uh, we fitted the one by chainring or one by setup. Uh, I'm now running a 42 tooth. Um, I don't know which cassette I'm going to be using yet this weekend. It all depends. I'll take both with me. What about it? Clean it. Clean it. Oh. So we'll have to weigh the bike afterwards. Uh, 7.2, I think it is. So I wonder what it's going to weigh afterwards. So yeah, really good upgrade to the bike. I'm sat here currently watching, catching up on the full 200 and something kilometers of Pirate Bay. What a monstrosity of a race that is. That is it looks horrific, um, but I bet it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Too good for me. Times when you were watching the cadence and they were crashing or losing the feeling in the body as to how you were slipping. It's like skiing. You, you Ooh, it looks shiny. <laughs> Don't get, don't get sunburned. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop there, right? I'll take this front off, yeah? Yeah. It's coming off. It's coming off. <laughs> Look at this thing. That's a, uh, what do you say, quarter of a kilo with bolts then. Is it? Must be. Oh. My room. Oh. Don't jump brakes. They're a bill you go in. Compulsory, eh? Just think, you know, is it just a bill you go in, see? So that clamp weighed a kilo. I wish. Smidge, 7.4. Yeah, so 7 kilos and 40 grams. Yeah, it's compulsory. You don't have a real light. CTT rags, yeah. That's like an advisory. When was the last time you did a time trial? Oh, yeah. It was advisory then. Oh. And then it met us. It's going to go down now. Oh, what? Oh, for goodness sake. We need 10 grams somewhere. Quick, like, get your cloth and brush the dust off. So it could, it could be 6.7. Should I stick it off? Leave the bike. Leave the bike. <laughs> could be 6.7, 6.8 then. That's alright then. Happy? Alright, ish. But yeah, I'm happy with that conversion. Oh, there we go. Because I'm doing two hill climbs on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, um, I'm thinking of doing two specific sessions this week tuesday and thursday i think because things are heading in the right direction i'm gonna push the boat out a little bit in these sessions this week uh, plus it'll give me an opportunity to obviously test the new one by setter properly so a couple of back and forth messages with uh, a couple of people um on some like very special equipment slash uh, well i can't say too much but like it could be something that like you know if if any one of these hill climbs are won by like, you know, two or three seconds, then the these type of things I'm talking about are the things that could save you one one to three seconds. And you're fighting for that little bit more, you know, so. But I, f I feel like I'm gonna get like a couple of messages about like the bike, like is that the bike I'm gonna be using for the national championships? I think I'm like 90, 90 95% sure like that's gonna be this is gonna be the bike I use now just because like I'm not sure about the disc brake bike um, 
I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with that really. So I don't. I, I feel like I should probably just put all my eggs in this basket um, to save like you know any kind of last minute panic and and stuff like that. It's just common sense really. Like and I, I'm quite used to riding this bike now. Um, it just feels good. It feels natural. You know, I'm one with the bike. Um, a lot of you will know. You know, if you've spent enough time riding your bikes, the same bike, then you'll know that um, you know you become one with it. And given it's it's kind of like my own bike, my my only bike, um, then I'm I am definitely in tune with it. So I think I'm gonna stick with this, and hence that's this is hence the reason why I'm making these changes to it. These small changes, the one by setup. The possibility of borrowing some sub one kilo wheels from from uh, somebody who's reached out to me, which would be incredible if that happens. But if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world because I've still yet to put like some of my faster we faster tires on these wheels and latex tubes. And then you know it's the little things like taking the GoPro off. But you saw us weighing it earlier in this video. I think if I put that clip in, it weighs like a smidge over seven. So it could probably come down to like, maybe like if without the wheel changes, it'd probably come down to like 6.8, maybe um, 6.7, but I'm just guessing now. It's not as light as I like need it to be. Like some people have actually offered to lend me a bike that's that's lighter than that. And I'm going to have the legs to power it as well. You know, I'm, I'm trying to make the best of you know, a situation where, you know, lots of Lots of people have been struggling in the in the bike industry this year um, with components, parts, frames, you know, you name it. it. Actually, makes me like, actually makes me more driven because like I don't use it as an excuse. Like equipment is never an excuse because you can always have a bad day, and your equipment rarely has a bad day. Um, it's very very reliable, and you know. As I've said already, like I enjoy riding that bike and I can get a lot out of myself riding it. And that's what's driving me. So everything else is going well. Food wise, eating, I am doing as good as I've ever done. Um, disciplined. It's working a treat. I feel great. Uh, I'm sleeping well. I'm uh, obviously performing consistently. So all of those little signs are just magic. So... That's the update. I uh, hope it keeps you tied over until you see the next video. Uh, so hopefully I'll try and slip in one of the sessions that I do this week as the next video um, before this weekend's racing.